Oh, I shouldn't be that loud. It's, I will wake up the neighbors, and they're all up. armed. Don't I mean, yeah, they're all armed. It's America. It's been a long time. Can you? Can we at least do a whoa-hoa? It's, it's been so long. Uh, no, it's 3 a.m. there. <laughs> Wait, I've got this thing that I can do this now. Ready? Whoa! Oh my god! I will say, a Discord, very powerful soundboard. Discord didn't enjoy that. It was like, I'll give you bursts every now and then. I hit, I hit quite the octave there. I've got, I've had a lot of fun, mate. This has been the best thing. I have a beat button. I've got all sorts of fun toys here. That is me. I'm pressing that button whenever I want because that's the way I roll. And chance is the. And that much chance is. Oh uh, I have my my coworker laughing. <laughs> I've I've had so much fun <laughs> just being trapped in in my home for the last two years. Oh yeah, I was going to ask. I mean, I want to get onto more exciting things, but how has it been in the US? Like it, over here, it feels like, especially in New South Wales, now less so. But it felt a pretty lax 20, uh, 2020, 2021, We're getting there. We're starting to understand that it is important. How has it been for you yeah. over the last year? It's been um, it's been interesting. We've had mixed results here in the US. Mm. We've all vaccinated quite quite quickly. So life yeah. in Los Angeles in particular has been kind of back to normal. You still wear masks indoors. Um, you can go out to the gym. My gym is very outdoorsy, so that's been really fun, that's as you cool. can tell. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Unbelievable. But life has been it's been bearable. I mean, we got a dog, so that made everything really cool. Totally. Um, that's a bona fide dog. COVID puppy. The best dog. Like He's I don't want to I don't want to make a list because I mean I'm back pocket list so kind of scandalous. Would you dare risk saying you've got the better dog? I think I mean I know I have the best dog, but Steph yeah. also knows that she has the best. That's and Pete, true. they have the best dog as well. I mean, every dog is the best dog. Uh, but yeah, he's he's a lot of fun, and we've often joked about this that I think Scardi and Luca would be really good friends. Totally. We're about to snip his balls clean off, which oh, okay. is uh, it's 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 what we have to do. But if they did have the choice, I think they would have beautiful children. Yeah, yeah. Have you All prepared? Him? Does does he know? Oh yeah, every day I tell him. <laughs> every day, well, every yeah. single day. I'm like, see those? They're gone. <laughs> Get used to it. Um, yeah. Now, last weekend was COD Champs. Was that the first big event, like, live since the world kind of gave up? Yeah, it was the first event we've done. The very first time I've been in a room with my co-workers and fans and the crew and everything for 530 days. Uh, That's so many who's days. Counting? Who's counting, right? Come on. Uh, but it was wonderful, man. It was, it was both... It was a strange sensation when we first walked into the empty arena and seeing the crew set everything up. Mm -hmm. We were excited enough to see each other and, you know, we went for dinner the night before the show started yeah. and all this stuff. But when we went into the arena for the first time and I saw the big stage and the big desk where I'd be working, I got nervous. Yeah. I'm genuinely quite nervous. And I haven't felt like that in a while. You know, I've been doing this on the road and I've been doing this in Australia. We've done packs and all sorts of mm. things that Melbourne Esports open. Tons and tons of stuff. Yeah. In front of huge audiences, and it, you, you know, you have a degree of jitters, but like that, I shit my pants. Sorry, can I say that? I shit my pants. <laughs> I filled my britches. It was terrifying, and I was like, "Oh my god, we have to do this again." And it was quite, quite horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel any difference with the players? Because like, were they there as well? Every everyone was back in the arena and stuff. Like, because they've obviously been uh, shooting from home. I mean, they most, have I'm, I'm sure them. everyone's been shooting from home, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you feel a, a bit of a different energy from everyone? Yeah, it wasn't the first mm. time the players had been back, but for the very oh, right. for the first time with fans and players and us, yeah, yeah, to be able to work with the crowd again and you know reach out to them and ask them to do stuff and and and, and feedback from them and we were it was just so invigorating and exciting and it really felt like you know we're healing as a yep. planet. For the first time in a really long time. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, that's uh, it's totally that thing of, I mean, obviously we've, we've, we've taken a step back again here, but once uh, Oz Comic Cons and stuff started setting up and just seeing everyone amongst each other enjoying yeah. their nerdy thing, it's just like, oh, that's right. This is what we are. This is what we need. <laughs> yeah, we really do need it. That's yeah. the one thing. Is, it's heartbreaking every now and then to see Twitter and be like, PAX is cancelled once again or, you know, Melbourne Esports, whatever it is, and I just and I scroll through, and then there's like all my friends just being like, "Well, what are <laughs> we so gonna close. do?" All I we want, were so close. I yeah. just want to go to Gigi Easy, and I want to have a Widowmaker. Like every day, <laughs> I think about it. Every day, I wake up and I just go, "Why, why, why can't I be there? Why can't I have it?" Uh, yes, like alcoholic boba tea, genius. It's just that the best is thing. actually could be the worst hanger I've, I've, I've ever had in my entire really? life. But they're lovely people and you should go and see them when you can. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cool t-shirts. I don't know if they're still available. They had some cool t-shirts going. Oh, yeah. I bought one of those with the little, the knitted love hearty thing. And it yeah, was like yeah. the first 
considering the first wave of COVID as a means to support the bar. And, and I was like, um, yeah, of course. Good. They've been rocking that out here. And everyone's like, cool shirt. Man. No one says that. I don't see anyone. It's a cool That's shirt. true. You don't see anyone. Um, <laughs> and on, on everything, obviously you're a little, I was going to say a little big Halo champ. I always yeah. wonder, is there a little like, there's a unique sense of pride watching all these players like do the same course, like get get up there in the world and win and everything. Like, it, how, how does it feel seeing these little guys? Oh man, honestly, it's wonderful. There's a degree of jealousy, obviously. I'm like, damn, <laughs> I was just just five, six years too early, or ten years <laughs> yeah. too early. Mate, it's really cool, you know, to see this become more than just a passing hobby. Now, this is truly an industry um and that's really cool i think it's the same with all games you know mm. just the fact that we can talk about this you know both of our lives have been fueled by games and all of our friends and everyone we know has managed to turn you know i, I always say this and i mean this very sincerely not everyone gets to turn their addiction into their profession mm -hmm. um in one way shape or form so yeah it, it's been really it's been really cool to watch that grow and blossom and yeah. and change and explode and like it just it, it it bewilders me every now and then where i'm like that team the los angeles thieves is co-owned by Drake, the artist. <laughs> That's a big deal, yeah. you know. Or like the um, Kevin Durant, who now owns half of the New York Sublines or something. Like that. I, unbelievable! Like these are some of the most famous, you know, you know, wealthy people in the world who are truly involved totally. in this gaming thing now. It's it's not like a thing for nerds anymore. <laughs> no. They're like they're like cool people. Totally. Are they? Well, I don't know. It re I'm yeah, well, it reveals the nerds in a lot of these people. Like I, I've never spoken to you about it, but there are photos of you with sitting next to Michael B. Jordan. How like yeah, he was, <laughs> what was that nerd. like? <laughs> that was the last time we did an event before this all went oh, south. Wow. And he was my partner. He was my teammate in our two v two. We did this like uh, exhibition match against two other famous people: Todd Gurley, who's a uh, an NFL player, yeah. and King Back, who's like a massive Instagram superstar. And then there's me. I was just like, ah, I'm actually, I'm the only one who knows how to play the game on the stage. That's fine. But Michael was really good. Like he was really cool, and he knew what was going on. And we sat yeah. down. He was like, he was like, hey, you play, uh, you play with a vibration in your controller or not? And I was like, I play with no vibration. He was like, yeah, yeah, me too. And I was like, okay. And he was going through his classes, and he was like, hey, what sensitivity? I was like, I'm like six six, you know. And he was, he was like, yeah, I'm five. Eight. I'm a little slow. I don't get much time to play. I was like, well, no, you're a massive Hollywood star. Why would you have time to do anything? <laughs> yeah. But he was really down to earth and he was very cool. And, you know, we, we were on that stage for bloody ages mm. and we in, we live Instagrammed a story together and he was just <laughs> so cool and very genuine and just a massive nerd. That's so And good. that, again, is what this is all about, just being a massive gaping nerd. That's us. Look at your room. I know. I mean, I, I, I wish I had something. I've just got Wait, this bloody on, green screen. Uh, and we'll see if this will work. I'll, I'll, put, I'll give you it. Ready? There you go. Look at all the stuff behind you. Look at that. Look at all this stuff behind me. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. The power, the power of the internet. <laughs> we can do it. And I, and, and like my power of, in terms of esports has never been yeah. so strong as when I had to create the leaderboards for the screenplay league for Overwatch. Uh, what a time. Really? Many, many a uh, wrong team put on the leaderboard or the wrong number, <laughs> but it's fine. It went on channel seven. They didn't they stop us. They definitely, I mean, they, they stopped us eventually, but, uh, you know, up until the moment they stopped us, maybe we had our fun. We, we did. had our fun. Like, what was your, do you have a favorite memory from all that craziness at Screenplay? I think it was, I think, I mean, aside from getting to meet everyone for the first time and being hopefully, hopelessly ignorant oh, to God. What a time. everyone's, <laughs> like, background and, and everything, like, I didn't know anything. I was just <laughs> sort of like, yes, I play the games. I play one game a lot, and I know about the game a lot. What, yep. what would you like to tell you about the game? That was my thing, but getting to meet everyone properly, yourself included, and all the crew. I still talk to quite a lot of the crew. I still talk to Brad from sales. He emailed me yesterday. Oh, wow. Something. Well, yeah, he actually did. Yeah. Are he, we still good? A... Are we good? I think we're still good. Yeah. I think we're still, what is it? What do you say? Uh, um, uh, we're, in, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. There we we're go. in a good it's spot. combo yeah. of everything no, I... I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true, though. It's so <laughs> true. But yeah, I, that, was, that was a really good memory. And I think that the second season, when we were in that weird side room <laughs> little shoe which box. was a uh, it was a box a weird <laughs> yeah. box side location near like the loading docks yeah. and we painted that thing as cool and as fun and as nerdy yeah. as we could and the things we created in that tiny space world and the fun we had i will never ever forget Tonight on Screenplay, we have lasers and leagues in a game surprisingly called Laser League. Speaking of leagues on Screenplay League, we've got the Dock, we've got the Ladies of Esports, and we've got a brand new Call of Duty. And we hunt monsters for five hours. Plus, go to go to bullshit, something, something bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 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 
Wow. <laughs> Most of the time. That was a good one. All right, cool. I will never forget coming into work every single day yeah. and worrying that the fish was dead. It's a fuck the fish, man. So hey. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this now. I'm not sure if this is out there, but I've talked about, I've talked about this on my stream about the, the fate of the fish. Oh, please. I, I found it out this. way late. I found it out on a message. Like, I think I made a joke and then someone said something and I just stared at my phone. Please. <laughs> So the, the the fish, how many fish did we go through? Two. I think two. Yeah. Two fish. Heartbreaking yeah. though. I can't, what was the screen? It was the screenplay fish. It was named every week by the, the uh, viewers. Uh, yeah, I think I think it was Chris originally. I feel like it was Chris. Yeah, Chris. Chris the fish. The fish? Yeah. yeah. We every every single episode a different name for the fish, which was so great. But I will never forget walking in on the first time the fish died, um, <laughs> which wasn't our fault. I don't think it was our fault. No, I don't think it, it was. was we, we were given bad instructions by the pet shop, I yeah. believe. Who. Completely screws. Wrong type of water. Wrong everything. All wrong. Yeah, and yeah. I'll never forget walking in and seeing that beautiful little Chris, perfectly vertical yeah. and jet black. <laughs> was that when they pulled when Vision lost the stone? It, he, it was that. He went completely dark. I wonder if that's where they took that from. From our dead fish, I definitely. Yeah, from how they knew. I, I, yeah. Still wonderfully glamorous, even upside down. I will say. Yeah. So. I did. I do remember as well. Just to scare our producer Andrew at the time, um, we put one of the house lights, or one of the the few house lights we had. We made a spotlight <laughs> over it. And when he came in, we were playing. I think Hello Darkness, my old friend. All yeah. this is the end by the doors. Either way, we're horrible people. <laughs> horrible people. <laughs> yeah. But we did have a good private laugh about it. I think I might have that photograph on my phone somewhere of, of the dead fish of the with the spotlight. I might. Of the spotlight dead fish yeah. and all of us sort of like looking sad around it. I feel like that exists. I might put that in the back pocket Discord one day. Please. <laughs> Zero context. It's great times. Um, and I do have to ask, do you still have or wear these? Are they still around? Yeah. Oh, God. No, Nick took them. Oh, really? Nick, yeah, Nick took them. He, he wore them. He, did. he wore them on the show and they're probably sitting in a box somewhere in Channel 7 in like mm. the cool wardrobe. Yeah, they bit. didn't leave. I, I, don't have, I don't have many pieces of screenplay memorabilia i still have my pin my little yeah. pin but i gave away most of that stuff remember thanos mm. we had that big thanos uh uh funko yeah, yeah, yeah. Big. gave that to liz dahlia salvatore still a very oh, active good. member in yeah. of the most dose thank you um <laughs> hey, what have I got? i've got something oh I you, I, i've got i know what i have cameras mice stole loads of stuff on the way out oh, yeah. didn't we, we oh stole yeah this is this yeah. keyboard that's that's a screenplay i mean i've literally yeah. the pc that's running all this is the little white PC from Fifth Oh, they were good, weren't they? Hell yeah, good. I'm pretty sure my my mice uh, and my keyboards. Thank you, Channel Seven. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so much. I just remember some days you just because 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 with that little space we just chuck stuff places. And I just remember one day I had to get something, and while I was up there it was just like unopened keyboards, and I just remember just going, hmm. No one will know. <laughs> <laughs> well no one will ever know no they, they didn't know. even know we they barely knew we existed in that little side room yeah but you know i think we did a really cool job in that space and mm -hmm. i put that down to the creativity of the team and i remember coming in every single day and i'm pretty sure nick was always the first one in there he was yeah. always looking up stuff to do he was always looking up stuff to talk about and i i don't remember contributing much except for coming in and just trying to distract everyone yeah yeah always, screenplay league always. yeah do it esports wrap up which i i, I still yeah. I miss because i i loved being able to have that like condensed form of everything that was going on. It was great. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. I still use some of those videos to sort of describe to uh, to big, big wigs across the, the esports world, like, hey, this is a really fun way to like get content across to people, yeah. by the way, just so you know. Mm. Yeah. You know, so there's little things like that. Like, good That's memories, great. though, man. Really, really good really memories. Really good. Wonderful times. I miss you all dearly, by the way. <sighs> this gets said all the time, but I miss the whole team so much. And I watch almost every moment of back pocket content. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it. You guys yeah. are killing it. I'm, I'm a big fan. Big fan of all of you. Yeah, we've got, we got to get you. As soon as the world's on track, you got to get here. Um, and what, what, speaking of the world being on track, I'm so annoyed because I don't think I'm going to get to see Shang-Chi. I mean, eventually it'll get to Disney+. Plus. I, yeah. And, so, and because half of our screenplay time was devoted to talking about Marvel, I've got yep. to ask, how are you finding all the Disney Plus Phase 4 stuff? I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm inhaling it. Uh, as quickly as I possibly can. Yep. I enjoyed Black Widow from home. I mean, it mm. wasn't the best film in the world, but it was really fun. It felt like it should be at home in a weird way. It's like, I'm, I feel yeah. like this is a better spot for you in terms of a yeah, film. Yeah, I, I, think, I, think I think it was really fun, but it lacked any sort of like massive explosive mm. moments that were like, got to see that on the cinema. Speaking yeah. of not seeing things in the cinema, slight detour here. No. Yeah. Still haven't seen um, Tenet. Oh, really? Seen it. That yeah, feels just... like a Miles movie. 
It's a deeply miles Mary. I'm losing my mind over here. I mean, I haven't been to the to the cinema, but I understand. Was it like September sixth? I can go see Shang Chi. I want to see the Green Knight. I want to see a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot coming out. Good. I want to see. Yeah. But um, to go back to the Marvel stuff. Mm. Sorry, Scarlet. Uh, the the One Division was really cool. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Like really fun at times. Like super campy, enjoyable. Um, yeah. while still sort of setting up the broader universe, which is going to get wild. Loki was great. I, yeah. Falcon of the Winter Soldier might have been my favorite. I think it's um, I think it, I think it's the most solid. I feel like it, it had the yeah. least missteps. And not that there were yeah. wild one, but it was the one that I'm like, that was consistent. There was never an yeah. episode that felt a little bit down. No, I was really I was really wrapped up in that deep. And I think it might also be because I'm in the US right now and um yeah. the Black Lives Matter movement is still very much in force here and you know that's like it's a much more sort of pertinent part of my life now, which mm. it but wasn't necessarily in Australia or even in the UK. Um, things is things are different out here. That's what that's, that's, that's the one way of describing it. Yeah. Um, and that was really cool. And getting to talk to my coworkers about that um, mm. has been really eye opening, and has made that I think made that show a lot more impactful for me personally, which was already pretty good. Yeah. It was that. That's my captain between Absolutely. Sam and Peggy in What If. I've <sighs> got nothing but love for the captains I'm, oh. I'm so excited the potential of peggy getting into or that captain carter getting into the movies like how are they going to visually do that because you can just because they went from like a little guy to chris evans but that's still yeah. uh it's still hayley atwell as a big yeah. woman well i hate i think hayley atwell is that was one of my favorite parts of the asian Carter shows she is quite a big woman like she's yeah. a big broad lady and, and I, f I feel like when she's throwing punches and kicks i'm like i would not want to be on the receiving end of that at all yeah, I thought I thought what if was really cool as well. Um, I, I'm I'm excited, frankly, Will. I'm constantly excited for the future of Marvel content. Can't wait for Shang Chi. Um, mm. God uh, and the Multiverse of Madness. I mean, I've been screaming oh. for that the second, <laughs> the second I found out about it. Yeah, you know that's gonna be well. And 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 the Spider Man three trailer. That was a moment. <laughs> need it. Need it. Yeah. I'm also excited. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people saying like, I don't need any more trailers for this one. I'm like, well, I think I need three more. I yeah, need three, three four more, more trailers. There's a lot more to. St if any of the rumors are true about you know Garfield's and and uh, Tobey Maguire being involved, I'm down for another trailer because mm. if if we all know, so why don't you just give it to us in exciting <laughs> teaser trailer format? Like, give it to us. We just need all the other actors because I think the only reason Alfred Molina is in that trailer is because he said he was, and so they're like, well, I guess you're in the trailer. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so we just just everyone needs to just come out and say they're in it so that for the next trailer they're like oh okay here's everybody i like that i'm i'm excited i'm also i've seen i've watched about two hours now of um theories on what's happening and why this is going on and maybe oh, wow. not dr strange doing it maybe he's been taken over by someone maybe this is the rise of mephisto here in the mcu finally um there's lots of hints towards the devil the devil's in the details the devil in disguise little things from peter the little ducks they've got little horns on them even though it's meant to be Doctor. oh i could be here for hours well i mean i would love to have you here for hours um but uh as, as it is 3 a.m i'm sure you've, you've got busy things to do uh i don't want to keep you too long i'm so like it just hurts every time I see you know how far away you are. We just want to just want to get a hug. I, I feel like this, the whole screenplay and back pocket team we're all big huggers, and I feel yeah, like that's yeah. one of the biggest things that COVID has taken from us is just being able to just hug people. So we we just need a big old hug as soon as possible. I, as soon as we can. I mean, the, there are so many complications at the moment around us getting back to Australia and then even leaving Australia, yeah. having to apply for an exemption, which sounds nightmarish. Um, until that sort of resolved, I don't think we can get back, which is heartbreaking. Mm. Uh, we really do want to come back. We want to see everyone. I've got things I need to give people in person. Uh, I think they know who they are and their hints are out now. But I mean, there's so much, there's so much that uh, we want to do in Australia. Yeah. So many people I want to see and especially you guys. I miss you all daily, <laughs> frankly. I mean, the yeah. community itself is sort of one thing that, you know, I can kind of be involved with from a distance but the people you're right the hugs, mm. you know, the hugs. i miss richardson's clammy hands those <laughs> clammy. damp i just uh, that that hug he's so lanky he gets to hug you and he comes all the way around and almost mm. like it's three like hugs you. Yeah. yeah you get like you get like a you get two hugs in one it's like being hugged by two people at the same time it's and then true. you get that little clam i miss I miss that. the whole crew though very yeah. touching um no it, 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 when it happens it's gonna be it's gonna be an explosion of love which sounds terrible that feels like Something that shouldn't be in public, but you know, it's it's fine. It's I mean, fine. yeah, it's, it's a love explosion. It <laughs> it's a love is. explosion. Uh, and uh, we we love you here, Miles. I love you, and I'm so so glad that I get to to chat to you here. Yeah, this has been really cool. And also, I, I my 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 line is open. And 
fine. You can you can poke me whenever you want, and I've just we can Discord and and we can use Twitter and Facebook chat. And, we... and I'm and I'm gonna I'll be able to look at my screen like this because we won't be yeah. all like set up. <laughs> now, now I'm looking at you here. This yeah. is me looking at you right now. This is yeah. this is this feels more normal. It's been strange yeah. just looking at it like this, just kind of out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. I can, I can see if I put if I put you on my second monitor, you look like this. Oh no, this doesn't work, does it? That oh, doesn't I don't work. Like that. Awful. Awful. Yeah. Hey. Uh, it's been great chat. Uh, have, have, a, have a great rest of your day when you wake up in the morning. I will. I will. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks for having me. See you soon, Miles. See you, mate.